Okay, we're going to look at the difference between energy and power by looking at a gallon of gasoline. So I'm showing a little gas container up here, and this gas container contains a gallon of gas, and a gallon of gas contains about 133 megajoules of energy per gallon. We're going to round that to 100 megajoules. We're also going to say that one horsepower is approximately equal to one kilowatt to make the math easier. In reality, one horsepower is 746 watts. But this will just help us with the math, help us do these things, um, these calculations a little quicker. So we'll look at one situation. We're going to look at three situations here. There's an infinite number of ways we can use this gas. And what we're really looking at is the rate that we're using the gasoline. You know, how many gallons per second, for instance, of gas are we using? And knowing that 100 megajoules is one gallon. So this is all the energy we've got to work with is this one gallon of gas, but there's a lot of different ways we can change it into something else. So one way to do this is we could use it up in one second and if we do that we're going to be using 100 times 10 to the sixth 100 megajoules so 100 times 10 to the sixth joules in one second and that's going to give us 100 times 10 to the sixth joules per second, which is the same as 100 megawatts of power. Okay, because a watt is one joule per second. So we've got 100 megawatts of power by taking this gasoline and using it all up in one second. Now it's pretty hard to use a gallon of gasoline in one second. You would have to take it and turn it into a fine mist and then make sure there's enough oxygen for it and ignite it and then you would blow it all up at one time and it would be what we call an explosion. Okay, so this would be a big boom that would result. Lots of energy. Now, because we said that one horsepower is approximately equal to one kilowatt, then this is also equal to 100,000. horsepower. That's a lot of energy, or a lot of power, and we can't get the, we don't want to confuse the two. We started out with 100 megajoules of energy. We're using it up in one second. That's 100 megawatts, or 100,000 horsepower. So this is enough to level a building. In fact, arsons make bombs from gasoline, because it does have a lot of energy in it. It has more than a, a stick of dynamite. Another way we could do this, another rate that we could use, is 100,000 seconds. Okay, so we're going to use up this gasoline in 100,000 seconds over a period of 100,000 seconds, which is approximately equal to about 27 hours. Okay, so if we do that, we'll have 100 times 10 to the 6 joules over 100 times 10 to the 3rd seconds. And that's going to give us 1 times 10 to the 3rd watts, joules per second, or watts.
which is one kilowatt. And we said earlier that we're going to make the equivalency of one horsepower is one kilowatt. So this is approximately one horsepower. So if we use the energy up over a period of 27 hours, we can run a one horsepower engine for 27 hours. So maybe a small lawnmower or something, we could mow the grass for 27 hours. But really, that's not going to really happen with lawnmowers because the efficiency of engines, internal combustion engines, is only about 20%. So we're really only going to get about one-fifth of that 27 hours. But still, we're getting a lot of useful work out of this. One horsepower for 27 hours. Another possibility is, and this is sort of a, another extreme, here we had an extreme by saying that we used up the gasoline in one second and we had an explosion. Here we're saying we're using it over a period of 27 hours. And down here, let's just say we're using it up over a period of 100 million seconds. Okay, so if we do that, then we've got 100 times 10 to the 6 joules, 100 million joules, divided by 100 times 10 to the 6th seconds. And that's going to give us 1 joule per second, which is equal to 1 watt. Now we're not going to equate that to horsepower because a watt is a lot smaller than a horsepower. But the interesting thing about this is 100,000 seconds is about equal to three years. So we can get one watt of energy for three years with this gallon of gasoline. Now we, with one watt we might be able to charge um, a cell phone. So it's still a useful amount of energy, and it's amazing that we can get this for three years. So hopefully this put energy and power into perspective. Um, a gallon of gasoline represents a fixed amount of energy, and the rate at which we use it is power. And we can kind of look at the same situation with other things. For instance, a battery, and I'll do a, another example here later. Um, we're going to call this energy and power one. Okay, um, but if we think about a battery, a battery contains a fixed amount of energy. If we take a 12 volt battery that's intended for a car, and it's charged up, it has a fixed amount of energy in it. And there's different ways that we can take that energy from the battery, and some of them involve large amounts of power, and some don't. It just means we can draw, draw more power, or we can use the battery longer if we use less power. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful.